Good morning and welcome to the video for sixth grade for lesson 5.4 from Into Math. This is Mr. Parks, the math teacher at Risen Christ Lutheran School. We will be working on a lesson that is pretty useful for us, uh, even though sometimes we end up with uh, grocery stores that have the stickers that give us the unit rate per ounce or pound of a particular item, but this is something that we can use in our daily lives um, in most cases. So what we're doing is we are going to find out how much per uh, unit, in this case pounds for this problem, we are going to spend and figure out which one is the better deal. So to start with, we are working with uh, $2.69 uh, for the five pound bag of flour. And we are going to divide that by a five. And then we are going to find the total amount. So we're going to divide both of these numbers by five. And it might take me just a moment. So I'm going to pause the video while I type all this out. And then I'll be right back with you. All right. So um, I've got everything typed out or written out now um, so that we can work our problem. And so what we're going to find when we start dividing is that it looks like this is probably going to be our better deal. So 5 goes into 26 five times, so we are going to end up with something in the 50 cent range uh, for our answer. And just to try to be as accurate as possible, it looks like we would be just short of 54 cents per pound. For the other one, we are going to be at 94 cents per pound. Um, we might be able to round up if we uh, went ahead and went out one more digit. So of the two of these, the uh, five pound bag does offer the better value because even though we're spending more up front, we're getting more product um, per um, our dollar uh, compared to the two pound bag. And it's helpful to compare, uh, do that to compare prices just to make sure that um, we are getting the best deal that we can. Um, this particular page is going to be very similar, but I've included it because we are going to be canceling out units when we divide. And so I want the students to be able to remember that this is a thing that happens. Um, and this helps us to resolve the issue of what unit are we actually solving for? Um, because occasionally I have students that get hung up on that. So easy problem. We're doing 27 minutes. Uh, for three miles. I am going to pause and finish filling in all of the blanks and then we will talk about what all the numbers mean. So uh, if you want to work this, go ahead and pause the video and uh, try to figure out what all the numbers should be and I'll be right back in a moment. All right, so now we have a filled in page. So hopefully this makes sense. So uh, let's talk through this real quick. We're doing 27 minutes divided by three miles uh, to get a rate of nine minutes per mile. So she will run one mile every nine minutes. And then if we want to use that to find out how much of a mile she runs in each minute, we can then divide the one mile divided by nine minutes. That gives us one ninth of a mile per minute as we work through this part. Students are gonna to need to do that today so that we could go ahead and take the unit rate and multiply it out to figure out how many of um, a particular unit that we're going to have uh, for a certain amount. So in this case, how many miles can we run in 45 minutes? So we would go ahead and uh, multiply that out. So we would end up with 45 divided by nine um, once we get everything ready to resolve for a total of five miles. And then if we wanna find uh, the number of minutes uh, that it would take to get seven miles, then we can multiply that. And that would give us 63 minutes, which would be pretty awesome. I would love to be able to be back at a nine minute mile for running. Uh, for those of you that don't know that I've been injured for uh, almost an entire year now, I'm finally back to where I can start running again. Uh, so this might be a goal for me to be able to do that in real life at some point over the winter. Um, let's take a look at a couple more things real quick. I want to show you what we are, uh, one more thing that we're looking at for the homework for tonight. So that concludes most of what we're working on, but they're going to give us some problems like these right here. And so we are going to find the unit rate 
Um, in some cases, finding the equivalent rate might be easier. So if I have three feet, I probably shouldn't have circled over that. If I have three feet in four minutes and I want to know how many feet I get in 16 minutes, well, that's just a simple multiplication problem. So I can multiply this number um, times the number I need to get up to 16 to get the answer. So for instance, that would give me 12 um, feet in 16 minutes. And then we can do 3 divided by 4 um, to find the unit rate. And so we can have fractions for the unit rates. Um, so hopefully that helps any confusion uh, with that. Uh, for this one, we would be um, dividing, again, 473 uh, divided by 5 and a half. Um, and then we would actually need to do this part first to find the unit rate and then multiply that answer times three to get the answer for this one. So those are a couple examples uh, uh, from the homework tonight that I wanted to take a quick look at. Um, hope the video is helpful. It is a little bit long even with a couple pauses in there. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me um, either by text or email for my Risen Christ students. Hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.